Everton were beaten 3-0 at home on in the Premier League opener at Goodison Park at the weekend by Brighton and Hove Albion. This is what Sean Dyche had to say after the game. Certainly by half-time, when, um, you know, horrible games of manager when you're doing everything you asked as a team um, and you concede such a, 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 well, a good goal from their point of view, of course, on the break, you know they're capable of that. But a pretty soft goal from our point of view we're in possession at their end of the pitch. A soft pass and they counter and you, you one nil down against the run of play. Um, certainly, I thought the, the way we performed in the first half was at least decent and, and as good as I was at hoping for. Affect them in so many different ways, but as we know, one of the biggest challenges there is them finding them clinical moments, which we didn't do. There you go. It was a depressing outcome, wasn't it, really? Uh, many fans left before the final whistle had had enough of uh, what turned out to be a really poor display in the end, despite a decent start. Uh, a few, uh, well, a lot of people I've spoken to and people on the channel have said their disappointment that Jake O'Brien. Didn't start the game. Obviously, Michael Keane had, uh, had been playing in pre-season, but had been injured going into into this game. And Jake O'Brien had been brought in from Leon. Uh, Sean Dyche was asked why he'd picked Michael Keane over New Sign and Jake O'Brien. This is what the manager had to say. No, the reason why he didn't start is because Michael Keane's had a very strong pre-season. He's been very unfortunate to get injured at Preston, but he's had a very strong pre-season and he's a very experienced Premier League player. Um, Jake hasn't got that experience, but we think he's a very good player and I think he'll learn quickly. He's come in, he's been very open-minded about you know the, the nuts and bolts, if you like, how quick the game is. He found that in the, the previous performances. Uh, but no, he's a very good player and we think he'll develop into it. There you go. Uh, one positive from Saturday, or the biggest positive from Saturday, was the performance of Tim Irabuna making his Premier League debut for Everton. Uh, he had been impressive in pre-season. Uh, I thought he was excellent on Saturday. He was my man of the match. This is what Sean Dyke thought about Irabuna's Everton debut. Done very well. I thought he's had a really strong pre-season. He's probably the one out of the new players. As you know, he has experienced the Premier League. He's been around it, he's experienced it, and also the Championship. And he looks more game-ready for what the Premier League is likely to offer. Higher physicality, we know. Higher need to work both ways. You know, not just attacking, but defending, defending, attacking, and find that mixture. I thought he was excellent. I think he's had a really strong pre-season. I was really pleased for him, because it looks like he's a, he's a young player who's really enjoying playing. Yeah, well, see, you played them, and they can perform. Simple. Give the other lads a go and let's see if our results can uh, get better from now on. Uh, young Everton defender Reese Welsh is a uh, interesting Leighton Orient. They have inquired about taking the Everton centre-back on loan. He played 20-odd times for Forest Green Rovers last season before was recalled to Everton. There are apparently two other clubs interested in taking him on loan for the season. He has been involved in pre-season, of course, with Sean Dyche's men. So see whether that one develops. And finally, Everton again today linked with Roma midfielder Eduardo Bove. Um, Fulham also credited with an interest. I think Everton do need another midfield player coming in. I think the manager said last week when he was asked about obviously Amadou Onana going out and Andre Gomez, but only Tim Irabunan coming in. He said, we are stretched in the centre of the park. He said, we were stretched last season and we still had Andre and Amadou and we've only brought Tim in. So therefore... Sort of by that reckoning, he, he wants another two. I don't think he's going to get two centre midfield plays, but he, we think we definitely need one more, especially because James Garner's injured at the moment as well. Um, Bove on loan, maybe. I think Roma would prefer a sale and €15 million Euros has been touted about. But again, Italian media today saying that Everton are interested in taking him on loan and dialogue between the Everton and the Rome club are continuing. Just phone Big Dan Freak up and just say, listen, Give us them on though. See how we go. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you check out the final word um, to see us discussing what went wrong. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.